Hey everybody, welcome to another video, and in this one I'm going to be telling you five great things about Assassin's Creed Syndicate, in my opinion. Now, Assassin's Creed Syndicate was by no means my favourite Assassin's Creed game, and it came short in a lot of areas for me. However, I really liked these five things that I'm going to tell you about. To start off, I want to talk about London. Now, London in Assassin's Creed Syndicate... Now, Victorian London wasn't an ideal setting for Assassin's Creed, but London in the game is a city that is alive, the NPCs are interacting doing stuff like playing cricket in parks, and there are children running around, there are things that you can see people doing, such as t communicating and talking on benches, and just observing the scenery and stuff like that, stuff you expect people to do back then, or in general, and all in all it's very atmospheric because you could be in one area see loads of poor people we go into a bar see people drinking they could go out walk through the streets and you see a bunch of rich people doing what they do and it's all in all very fun to see what different people are doing in different places and honestly it's a very alive open world which is mostly due to the NPCs but also graphically London is pretty nice so London was one of the things in Assassin's Creed Syndicate that I really loved not for its historical setting and etc, but just because of how alive the open world was. Another thing in Assassin's Creed Syndicate that I really enjoyed were the fight clubs. Now, these little places where you could go into and then just fight for money and stuff were quite fun, actually. Now, I wasn't a big fan of Assassin's Creed Syndicate's combat, but the fist fighting in the game is okay. It's not the best but it's satisfying enough, I suppose, when in these rings, not necessarily on the streets. I don't understand, I can't explain it myself. But when in there, I really enjoy doing these Fight Club things because, just because it feels as if something that you would see in an industrial period, like in Victorian London and stuff like that, it feels as if something you would probably find, which would be like a little hideaway in which people go in to fight for scraps and stuff, which is honestly really cool and it also adds stuff to the open world and gives you a way to earn some money in the game because when things like in the customization are a bloody grind it's worth you know trying something to get the money and it might take a bit of time but if there's a diverse range of things that you can do to get your money to do what you need to do with it then I suppose that's good. And I also find enjoyment from being a one-man army in a ring and taking down like six opponents or eight opponents or whatever and not taking a scratch, which is honestly really fun. Although the combat itself in the game could have been a bit better, it wasn't the worst and you could find some enjoyment from it, so therefore I suppose it wasn't bad. And as a result, the fight clubs are pretty fun. Now we have the multiple takedowns in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. These multiple enemy takedowns where you take down multiple enemies at once when they're all low on health in combat are really cool because you could have four enemies and you could all be weakened, you could have them all weak, and then you just press a button and Jacob fucks them all up or Evie fucks them all up depending on who you're playing with. And honestly they're quite fun to watch and they look a lot more in place than the rest of the game in fairness or the rest of the combat at least and all in all they're quite fun to watch very satisfying that's something that I find from them and all in all they add to the combat and the fight clubs especially which is great next up we have the Edward Kenway Manor which was quite a big part in sequence 4 of Assassin's Creed Syndicate I believe but either way, it was a cool little nod back to Edward Kenway and Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. And all in all, exploring Edward Kenway's house that you read about in Forsaken. And I don't know if it's the end of Black Flag, I didn't read that novel. But it was really cool to go around and explore Edward Kenway's house after he'd settled down back in London. Or no, just in London, he wasn't in London before he was in Bristol. Yeah, whatever, it was a really cool little nod back to Assassin's Creed 4 and all this memories of stuff and the jackdaw's wheel and things like that and how it added to the story of Syndicate was really really good and it made exploring the Edward Kenway Manor a major part in Syndicate for me and also a very awesome nod to Black Flag. And finally we have the trains. Now although not necessarily again like I said with the London point not necessarily fitting for 
Assassin's Creed per se, I really did enjoy the trains while they were there in the game. They were really quite fun to run from end to end, to loot and stuff like that, to explore. Well, not necessarily explore, but travel upon and see what you can see in in the city from the trains. That was some proper BPR talking. What I'm trying to say is that the trains were a nice little feature to the industrial setting that was Victorian London. And honestly, they did that quite well, having the trains around and the steam business and etc. It was quite nice, and it was also quite a nice form of transport. Instead of running around, you could just sit there and enjoy the view as the train does the travelling for you. And the fact that the hideout in the game was actually a train itself was also very cool. I liked the idea of having a train hideout. That was pretty fun, if you ask me, because you could just sit there and then you'd just appear in different areas when you leave because you know the hideout is a hideout because you know you sat there doing what you're doing in the hideout and by the time you get off the train you're in a different place altogether and then again it's also quite a nice feeling to have this like streamlined sort of hideout as well and all in all the trains in assassin's creed syndicate were a very nice feature the lag fucking isn't though ubisoft please fix your games the boat feature on the Thames was also very similar, so I suppose you could put them in the same point under transport, or motorised transport, or whatever kind of transport. It's probably more like a steam-powered transport, as they were quite similar. They were a lot larger than the trains, but you could do the same things with them and have similar missions on them, and they were also quite cool. Just as a little bonus point that you could sort of apply to the train thing. Uh, yeah, don't really have much to say about that, because what you can say about this, you can also say about the trains, which is to say that I've probably already butchered trying to say it and said it at the same time. Another point I could have brought up was the World War One rift, but I wanted to stick to the main game in Victorian London. But anyway guys, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, be sure to comment things that you think down in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, share, comment what you think, and I will see you all in the next one with another video. So, yeah. So, yeah.